Amy from Doodle Dog Primitives and today I'm going to show you how to hand dye your embroidery floss to achieve a variegated look on your punching nail projects. I'm going to be using tea, brewed coffee, and instant coffee. Let's get started. You want to be sure you have plenty of floss, maybe even a little extra because it's hard to go back and replicate the same dye bath again. So I am preparing my floss by unwinding it and rewinding it onto a book that's a little bit larger and then tying the skeins into a knot to keep them from tangling up. When you dye your floss, you want to make sure that you're using ColorFast floss. DMC is ColorFast. Some of the other brands are also. That will ensure that the dyes from the floss don't bleed and run. So this book that I'm winding it around is about eight and a half inches long. It's not an exact science. I just like to make it a little bit longer of a loop before I dye it. You could also just take it directly out of the papers and tie a knot in it as well. Now for this project, I'm going to have enough floss prepared to punch the same pattern three times. One of the flosses, one of the projects I'm going to use tea dye, and for one of the projects I'm going to use brewed coffee, and for one of the projects I'm going to use instant coffee. And since they're all the same pattern, it will show you what the different dyes now this particular pattern I'm going to be punching is a free pattern available in my free pattern library at doodlelogprimitives.com. And just go through and get each of them ready like this and then we'll move on over to the dye bath. Once you have your threads all prepared, I put them in a bath of plain water so they can soak and get good and wet. Now I've prepared a bath of tea. This is just plain tea bags brewed in water. I have four cups of water and six tea bags, so it's a little bit stronger than regular. And in this one I have just plain coffee brewed in the coffee pot. And in this one I did instant coffee and I just did it according to the instructions on the jar. So after they're soaked, take them out of the water. And this is all the threads needed to complete one project, so I'll put them all into the tea bath. And then get the next batch wet. And then I'm going to put them into the coffee. And finally, the last batch. This last set I'm going to put into the instant coffee. And I'm going to let all these soak for a few minutes, maybe even five minutes, and then I'll take them out. All right, it's been about five minutes, so I'm going to take them out now. I'll start with the tea. Grab all of those. Squeeze them out and lay them on my towel to dry. 
Now I want to leave them kind of scrunched up so they can, as the tea dries on them, it will pool in different places and create more of a variegated look. Then I will do the regular coffee. Squeeze it out. Arrange those to dry also. A little bit scrunched up. But separate it out enough that they will dry. And finally, I'll do the same with the instant coffee. I'll just spread it out to dry. And then once they're all dry, I can start punching with them. The threads were dry and I separated the floss into three strands so I could punch. And I wanted to show you the difference in coloring. This middle, this row right here is the original, what the colors look like without any dye at all. This row here is tea dyed. It's harder to see in the darker colors, but in the lighter colors you can really see the variegation that it's created. This row is coffee. And this row is the instant coffee. Now I'll punch the patterns. Now that they're all punched, you can see the differences in the coloring. This one here is the instant coffee. This one is the regular brewed coffee. And this one is the tea dyed. I'll show each one a little bit closer up. The tea dyed, I think, has the most variation in the light colored, but it has a bit of a reddish cast to it that the other two don't have. This is the coffee. And here's the instant coffee. So you can see it really is very easy to hand dye your threads to achieve a variegated look on your finished punch channel project. I'll see you next time. Bye!